Um, so we're going to do what do you call it? A, not a super we're set. A giant set. A so giant set. Giant set is when you combine more than two exercises uh, together. But you can do opposing giant sets. You can do same muscle parts, different muscle parts. It's basically just a fancy word for circuit training. And then I've got one quick question. Obviously, look at the size of you. You're a big man. Um, I would have thought that you always got super heavy, but the refreshing thing for me, certainly trying to keep up with you, is that you focus on higher reps and lower weight, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the thing about training is it has to be personalized. Yeah. And for me, it's, there's different stages of my training where I'll train differently, so it's called periodization training. Right. So at the moment, because we're on film, we're on the set, the most important thing for us to do is to maintain and not get injured uh, and, and keep the body functional and moving. Yeah. So the best way to do that, keep the weights smaller, yep. focus more on the repetition, uh, the range of motion, and, and making the body work under tension with as least amount of potential injury. Mm. The bigger the weight, the more you're gonna get injured. And also living out of a hotel is difficult. Yep. You're not resting as much as you should, you're not eating as you should, uh, hydration levels can drop. All of this will increase the chances of injury. So, we try and train hard, but stay sensible. Yeah, and just last thing before we get to work, that's very refreshing for me because, and I think a lot of men feel like this pressure to try and lift heavy weights. I always like, tell my son, son, mm -hmm. you're going too heavy, you've got to focus on the form. But for me, as I'm getting older, obviously my body's a little beat up. The lighter weights, the higher reps, you actually get better results, you burn more oh. calories, you release more endorphins, 100%. and you don't get injured. No, I mean, the thing is, when it comes to weight training, what you have to remember, there's a muscle can be worked under tension, many different ways. It doesn't necessarily mean the heavier the weight, the harder the muscle's working yep. because on many occasions when the weight's increased, people can't use that weight correctly with correct form, which then means they're gonna involve ligaments and tendons and different muscles to move the weight from A to B, which is fine if you're doing weightlifting yep. for competition such as strongman or yeah, powerlifting, yeah, powerlifting or training for, for fighting, you'll have to use more than one muscle group at a time for throws, for instance. Yep. But what we're after is body beautiful. Yes, <laughs> body beautiful. So we're gonna start on this. Okay, we're gonna loosen up the body first of all. We're gonna start with uh, pec fly. We're then gonna go into a press and we're gonna use some cable work to bring retraction into the exercises. All right, let's get to it. Let's enough it. enough chat, time to work. All right, so he's taking us through the, uh, what do you call it? Triple set, mega Giant set. set. Giant set, uh, three exercises. The, this, the press, and then some bands. You know, when you look at Martin, you know, with respect, people might think the man's a meathead, you know what I mean? But he's already teaching me a lot of things I didn't know. It's all about recovery, all about using the body properly. We're not even going heavy, you know, which is surprising, but it's good for me. It's good for me, because I don't want to match that guy strength for strength. How many are we doing? 15. Well, come on, let's go, Martin. World's most scariest man. Jesus, Martin, come on. Always learning, always trying to get better. Martin, obviously, big dude, strong guy, very, very nice guy. All right, mate, got a little audience. So yeah, we've just done the warm up. I'm already knackered. I'm sweating like a pig. Um, as you can see though, he has a very uh, intelligent approach to this and I'm learning a lot. So it's, uh, it's great. We're gonna do working sets now. So the idea, of this type of training is to push as much blood into the muscle as you can using mediocre weight, focusing on the exercise uh, time. It's called TUT, time of detention. So focusing on how much time each repetition takes. Ideally, six seconds. It will really allow you to get the full stretch and to push the blood in. The most important thing to do, especially when you get older, is to make sure you're warmed up fully and ready for the intensity of the working sets, which we're gonna take your man through now. Watch me, watch me, watch me, chest up. Yeah. Slow, don't let your head creep forward. Stretch, hold it, hold it. Slow. Right, three seconds over, go, come on. Two, three, and close. Yeah. There it is, come on. Chest up, head back. Close, yeah. don't reach. Head back, chest crowd, arms out, reach as far as you can out. So the key is to get your hands as far away from your head as possible. Stretch out. And squeeze, breathe. Slow up, breathe in. On close, breathe out. Chest crowd, retract the shoulders, drop them. Drop them shoulders, chest up crowd, squeeze. 
Come on, buddy, come on. Work and set. Control, squeeze. Hands out, head back, head back. Right, two more, I want to focus on the close. Close, right now, squeeze, hold it. Three, two, open, slow. Come on. Now squeeze, 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 chest up, right. Work the negative now. Hold it, don't let it go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't let it move, don't let it move, hold it. Hold it. I said don't move, it ain't gonna move. Get off! Come on, hold. I'm holding. Hold, oh no, good. Breathe, open up slowly. Open up slowly. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Five, four, three, two, close, back, go. One more, one more, one more. In, chest up. Squeeze, squeeze your chest tighter. Tighter, close them to my fingers, to my fingers. Squeeze it, come on. I want to feel pressure on the hand. Pressure, pressure. Ah. Right, 10 seconds open. 10, 9, slower. 8, 7, 6, 5. Ah. Hold it. 4, 3, ah. 2. Ah. Good. Son of a bitch. It's okay that you give up. <laughs> I'm offended. Okay, so we were just talking about the difference between strength training and hypertrophy training. Strength training is making the body and making the muscles strong. Which basically Hypertrophy, by the way, is getting the pump, getting a little bit bigger. For those that don't know. Here we know. go, scientists. <laughs> so, <laughs> they don't know! So, nor did you two minutes ago. <laughs> so basically the difference between hypertrophy and strength training comes between the repetition range, which is for strength ideally around one to five repetitions, Hypertrophy, you can go down as low as six, no more than 12, 13, 14, you start looking at different range again. So you've got to understand the, dif the difference between repetition range, rest in between the sets, and also the speed in which you execute the repetitions. So when doing strength work, you really want to focus on being fast and explosive to hit the fast twitch muscle fibers. When looking at hypertrophy, we can adjust the time and tension, whether it be the eccentric or concentric, and also the holding and the contraction the squeeze. So there's lots of variables that come into play. The most important thing and the most, the best piece of advice I can give is understand your why and how. Understand why you're training and understand how to train. That way, you'll get results. If you don't get results, you won't stick at the training. If you don't stick at the training, you may as well be having a coffee. Or a beer. In Mike's case. Which is why he lives like a girl. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna fall out. This is the last one on this machine. All right. We're gonna run the rack, do drop set. So that means your first set, as many repetitions as you can. Ideally, eight, 12 is the number we're looking for. We're gonna straight in then to 10, 15% lower. And we're gonna look at pushing out between five and six reps. Again, good form, always, always focus on the form. There's no point pushing movement when you start bringing other muscles into it. We're trying to stimulate a muscle. We're not trying to bring other muscles in to get extra repetitions. So focus on the form, focus on intensity. Make sure a working set is working. It's like in your world, tapping out before you need to. You've got to go to complete failure. If you're not going to failure, you just won't get the results. It's as simple as that. Let me ask you a question on that. I was, well, I, not uh, led to believe, but there is a theory that if you go to failure, you release cortisol, uh, yeah. cortisol into your system, and that can have a negative impact. Yeah, don't what do you say to that? I, I agree, partly. Right. But yeah, I guess it depends what you're trying to achieve. It depends on, on, on we, we spoke about it briefly before on periodization training. It depends what part of your training you're at. Ultimately, yes, you don't want to go into failure and to fatigue every single set, and not every single workout, but if you don't push your body to the maximum, you're never gonna break yeah, that shot. Sure. Yeah. You've got to you've got to understand that there's different there's different phases of training and if you're trying to find the easiest part of each phase and bring that in, not for you personally, but as as general people bring in almost excuses why not to train hard. It brings in this, it brings in that true to a point, but we're also trying to build the body to become stronger and to deal with stress. If you don't apply stress, you won't learn how to overcome stress. It's like kids in this modern day and age. Soft. They're all soft as shit, but they won't endure any stress, Martin. I, I just want to make it clear for the record. You are using full rack. This is the same weight. <laughs> <laughs> had to get it in. But will I get it in? Let's That's go. I normally get it in. Yeah! Go on. Two. 
Control me! Hey. Come on! Whoa. Let's go! Watch that shoulder! Come on! Just one more, one more! Ah. Right, finish it! Ah. Relax, one more! For the record, I said finish it! Ah. Drop it! Remember what we say, it's not about ego, it's no. not about competition, it's about correct form. It's also about you not making a complete dick out of it. <laughs> it's guilty. Yeah! Right, watch this shoulder. Dry it. Come on. Come on. I always caught it there. One more. I know. Hold <laughs> on. Come on, focus. All about that ball. Push and breathe. But right, slow, control. <coughs> and squeeze, chest proud. Yeah. And drive, strong. Come on, watch it now. And push. Yeah. Right, one more, just one more, come on. Come on, squeeze. All right, finish it, finish it, finish it. Now, something I will say, the thing that made and makes this man here great is also his biggest nemesis because he won't fucking listen. Because he wants to be the best, he wants to do his best. He doesn't want, shut up, he doesn't want to let himself or anyone else down and he wants to be an inspiration and set examples. If he's putting fate, I'm going to smack his head in Athens. Because he wants to make good impressions, sometimes that energy can run away. It's most important, watch the exercise again, how his shoulders are raising. That's because he's had injuries. <laughs> That's because he's had injuries and he needs to understand and he needs to accept it and work on his weaknesses. And he will ultimately become stronger. Weaknesses, where do we start? Because there's a lot. All right, so, so far we've done the peg deck, we've done the, the, the what do you call it? The, uh, help me out, what's it called? Right. The fly machine, we've done bands, we're doing the cable crossover. We haven't done any free weights per se. And normally I find that guys, you know, with a physique like yourself that work out the way you do, they stay away from machines. They explain your uh, concept to me on that. There's two reasons. One, my injury. Right. Which, at the moment, I've got a bad shoulder caused by an operation to my stomach where they went straight through my obliques. So, my issue at the moment is my stabilization muscles in my back being affected. But then there's also another reason. Two, that we're using, there's three of us in this workout, of various degrees and various um, yep, yep. levels and strengths. So it's a lot easier. Now rather than shifting the weight, yeah. I have to strip down a it's bar. It's a lot safer and a lot easier for me to see your level and your level, because we've never worked out before. Yeah, yeah. So I can understand from the machines, how good your form is, how good your control is, and also we're still warming up. Fucking hell. <laughs> We're still warming up. But, so, uh, but also, I guess the machines, the machines though, truly machines, do isolate the machines. Yeah, the, machines the body part have the base. I agree. The machines are not better than free weights. 100%. Free weights are. At the camera, Martin. Sorry, you, you're an actor now. Free weights. Free weights are the best when it comes to training, whether you're looking at strength, size, whatever it is. Free weights do bring in stabilization muscles, they bring in the ligaments, they bring in the tendons. They are harder to do. But. There's also a very good place for machines. And the reason I like using machines is they're very easy to set up when there's more than one person working. Yep. They're very easy to help teach form on. And also it's nice for drop sets. Yep, yep. Especially when we've got three different people of three different levels. We don't have to have sense. 100 weights on the floor. Everything um, in a gym has a purpose, except. So how many? No, I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> 10 minutes. Right, come on, nice and strong, just proud. Squeeze that out. Boom. That's good. You've been watching for a For the record, I did not teach my that exercise. Chest up on it. My chest could not be any prouder. When you spent a lifetime being a proper badass, not just lifting weights, you get a few injuries, you know what I mean? <laughs> I am hard, I don't fucking act hard. 
Challenging ourselves. Come on. And again, let's go. This is working set. Come on, buddy. Come on. Dig in. And again. Strong wrist. Drive through the thumb and the finger. Right. There we go. Come on. And again, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And again. Come on, dig in. Dig in. Come on, Sean. Come on. Up and out. Up and out. Yeah. Right, still, one more each. Come on, squeeze the core. This side. And again. Left side can go all day. Let's go then. Right side, come on. There it is, right down. Let's go straight into press-ups. Awesome. Straight into press-ups, come on. Power. You got clap press-ups in here? Up. Two. You got clap press-ups? Come on. Up. And drive. Drive, get down, get fucking down. Let's go. Show the tail, we're done. Come on. Boom. One, two. Let me go wide. Three. Give him, give him. One, four. Up. And again. I can push him. Come on, down. And up. And up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dig it. Dig it. Come on. And get down. Work and set. Try. Push him. Push him. Come on. Come on. Up. Up. And again. Come on. No numbers. Straight down and up. Push. Come on. Don't. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Ah. Ah, ah. And go. Oh. <laughs> <Hey. sighs> Come on, keep going. That's it. <sighs> that, 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 might, that might be a bit too heavy for you, bro. It might be what? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh. Go on, then. Wow. Six, Come on. Seven. Let's go. Eight. Come on, 50. Nine. Ten. Come on. Up. Ah. Let's go. Ah. Yep. Up. Ah. Come on, and get strong. Dig in. Dig in. Ah. Every rep counts. Come on. Every rep. What's that? You know I said 50, not 15, yeah? You said 50. 5 0. No, you didn't. We got it on tape. I know. 50. You didn't do 50. 50, 50. Get fucked. You are doing, you doing your hair for the first 20. Oh, <laughs> so he said he's going to go, then I've got to beat his. He clearly has a bit of a, bit of a size advantage, but I'll give it a shot. I don't have a size advantage. Quitters never win. I've got a shoulder that don't work. Yeah. Mind you, your shoulder's fucked in the back. Yeah, I've got a brain that doesn't work, so we're even. <laughs> Let's go. Nice and strong. All right, buddy. One to the chest, two, trust the chest. Three, okay, four, five, six, nice, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, easy, fourteen, a little deeper, fifteen, sixteen. There you go, seventeen, eighteen. Full extension, nineteen. Get it up there, get it up, come on. Twenty, nice. A lot yeah. will say, you've got to touch the bar in the chest. The reality is, you need to find flexibility and mobility range that's what's more important than anything else as you get older and wiser you realize let's go Ooh. two three four five six seven eight it's good nine ah come on come on up ten ah let's go Show me, show me, show me. Ah. This is good, this is good. Come on, come on. Everyone counts. Come on, you got this, you got this. Ah. And again, strong. One more, one more. Come on, legs are cramped, get up. <laughs> up. Ah. Good set. I think I'm done. 
All right, so there it is. That's the end of the workout, Martin. Thank you very, very much. Um, for me, lifting weights like that, I enjoy it more because I'm always trying to get a bit of a cardiovascular workout. I'm always trying to get a sweat. You know, I I'm not going for strength. Nope. Those days are behind me. I go to, well, number one, to release the endorphins, to be fitter. You know, obviously I want to look better as well. A little bit of vanity comes in, but still it's good for the mind, good for the body, good for living long. But that was a very, very different type of weight workout. And I, I loved it, thank you. Yeah, that no, was awesome. I think that all you can ask for as a coach, and ultimately that's what I was before all this madness in film world started, is a client that wants to give 100% and wants to do everything that they can in their powers. And when you get someone who trains like that, and someone who has that mindset, and someone who's been great, it's phenomenal to work with them individuals. Unfortunately, he was busy today, so we did Mike. Um, who did all right. Did all right. I mean, he quit a lot of the exercises. There's a lot of stuff that we can't put on camera. Um, <laughs> Just fight. I don't, I don't, come on. I don't, don't want to destroy your image. Go on. Oh, I've got him! <laughs> Martin, you're the man. Thank you, brother. Oh, I think I'm over my back now. Right in the balls, I'm sorry. But uh, he's been the world's phenomenal. most dangerous man, uh, scariest man. I'll take you. Yeah, they're both right. They're the bollocks. Yeah. Martin, <laughs> thank you, brother. Been a pleasure. Cheers. Thank you. All right, guys. Take care.